Can we get all three in this shot? Oh, we sure can. <gasps> Guess what we're doing today? You know, I, 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 don't take it. You know what time of the year it is. You know what we're doing. We are gonna make some Christmas tree brownies for dogs. What do you think of that? Eleanor's like, I'm checking out the sink. There might be something good in here. We have all of our ingredients in our pan that we need. You wanna make some treats? You wanna make some treats? Let's, ah, what are you doing? You can't eat that, it's chocolate. It's chocolate, look, there's chocolate. Okay, okay, you guys know. Say it with me now. It's carob, carob not chocolate. Let's make some Christmas tree brownies, you guys. This is gonna be so much fun. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And you know what? A little background secret on that. You're gonna notice my oven's not actually preheated because this dog is terrified of the oven. So I actually have to make my treats then preheat the oven. A lot of you guys have asked about that recently. I thought I would fill you in on that little behind the scenes secret. Okay, 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 for real, let's make some brownies. So we're gonna need one decent sized bowl and the first ingredient going in there is two tablespoons of honey. Are we gonna measure the two tablespoons of honey? No, we're just gonna squirt two tablespoons of honey into this bowl. Look at the intent on this dog's face. She's like, there's honey? I would totally eat all of it. <laughs> so we're gonna estimate two tablespoons of honey and not let Kira eat it all before it makes it into the bowl. You really want that honey. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. You can't have the honey. The next ingredient we are going to add is a half a cup of vegetable oil. And today I actually am gonna use the vegetable oil and not the coconut oil because we want these brownies to turn out kind of dense. So we are gonna use a half a cup of vegetable oil. Trust me, you don't wanna lick this bowl. There it goes. Now we're actually gonna mix this together real quick. You're doing everything in your power to get into that bowl. Today I'm just gonna use my little hand mixer to mix all of this. So basically we're gonna mix this together for just a few seconds. The next thing we will be adding is four eggs. And you're gonna notice there's only three eggs in here, Jess. What are you doing? These are duck eggs and they were really big, so we're gonna use three instead of four. But if you're using standard size eggs, just use four. So eggs into the bowl. And yes, they're duck eggs again. You wanna lick the eggs? Like, heck yeah, we wanna lick the eggs. Memphis, look at you. Memphis is like, I will just wait my turn. I will wait my turn. And I am gonna slightly mix the eggs before I add anything else, just to break them up a little bit. What happened? Did you get oil on your tongue? She's like, I may or may not have dipped my tongue in the oil. It was not great. I tried to warn you, you didn't listen to me. The next ingredient, one cup of whole wheat flour. Now, for those of you that want to use a different type of flour, you can do that. You can just run over to Google and do a conversion for whatever type of flour you would like to use. Today we're using wheat flour. Again, as I said, these are brownies and I want them to be dense. Wheat flour makes a really nice dense treat. One cup into the bowl. So what do we need next? We need a little bit of floof powder. The next thing we're going to be adding is a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Memphis is like, when are we gonna get to the good stuff? In a second, honey. So we're gonna put that right in there. Don't eat that either. No, you can't lick that bowl. Here comes the part of the video that's gonna confuse everybody that hasn't been here for a very long time. The next ingredient that we're using is one quarter of a cup of, again, say it with me now, carob, not chocolate. Carob. This is carob powder. I will put some Amazon affiliate links for some of the things that you see in this video today down in the video description below. A lot of you guys always ask where I get carob. I order mine online because nobody in my town sells it locally. So carob into the bowl. I know you want to lick that. That smells amazing. <laughs> you guys keep moving places. Last but not least, we are going to use a half a cup of unsweetened carob chips. So you can see here, they look like chocolate chips, but again, carob not chocolate. And finally, something you guys can actually have. Let me get you each one. All right, you ready? Okay, you can have a little carob chip. Good stuff. Kara gets a little carob chip. Good stuff. Eleanor, do you like one? She's like, whoa, that's good stuff. And now, oh, you want the whole bowl. You can't have the whole bowl. We're gonna add these into the bowl and then we're gonna mix this up. I lied. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla as well. Don't forget that. We almost forgot the vanilla. Not that you girls would have known any different, but we're adding the vanilla. And now, mixy mixy. And you wanna make it, you know, brownie-like batter. 
We've got our batter. It actually looks and smells amazing. But now for the best part. Memphis, you're being so patient today. It is time. Look at them, look. They're like, mom has the best part of treat making. Time to lick them beaters. Get up here, Memphis. Can we get all three in this shot? Oh, we sure can. Lick, up. look at Memphis gets out. Oh, I was gonna say Memphis gets to get that one all to herself. You're licking them beaters. Hold on, here Memphis, you want some more? Yeah. Eleanor's like, whoa, I get both sides. Here you go, Kira. We should have named you Soap and Water. <laughs> Who else's dad used to make that joke when they were a kid? The soap and water joke, you know, oh, the soap and water. What do you clean your dishes with? Soap and water. And then you're done eating and you go, come here, soap, come here, water. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have a dishwasher and we wash everything. So we have sprayed our pan. Now we're gonna put our brownie mix on there. So I am using a 15 by 10 pan. The reason behind this is once this comes out and cools, we're gonna use a cookie cutter and cut them into Christmas tree shapes. So let's get this onto here. It should cover the whole thing. You may have to spread it out just a little bit. All right, pour it in the pan, spread it out. You gotta be a little bit careful spreading it out. A trick, spray that with a non-stick spray and that'll help spread it out a little bit. And then once I spread it out, I kind of shake the pan around and make it even. Into the oven it goes. All right, so brownies are in the oven. They are gonna bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. This is the perfect time to remind you guys that this is a treat, not a meal replacement. Please feed your dogs responsibly. If you guys are interested in seeing more of our, ma'am, what are you doing? More of our Christmas treat videos. We have quite a few of them. There's gonna be a playlist down in the video description below and at the end of this video so you can go see all the other fun Christmas treats that we have made over the years. And of course, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to turn on all notifications so you'll know whenever we put out new videos. One more thing, the limited edition calendars, these really cool potograph calendars, there's not that many of them left. There will be a link for that down in the video description below as well, as well as a link to our new Christmas merch. Okay, so movie magic. Brownies will be done in three, two, one. Boop. Out of the oven, it grew a little bit. Now we're going to flip it out of this pan and let it cool. Oh, I did one and it worked. So basically what we're doing now is we're gonna put that on there. I don't know if I can do this and hold the camera at the same time. Let's find out. We're gonna push the cookie cutter, which I guess you could do more than just Christmas trees. Slowly pull it out of there. Put it on my cooling rack. These are still a little bit warm. Put it on the cooling rack and slowly kind of just push it out of there. And there you go. And don't worry, it's not done. We're gonna decorate them. They look like Christmas trees. And look, we got some left, which means the dog should probably try a nibble. Look at these lazy bums. They don't even know what's going on. Oh, you figured it out. Nibble? Oh, just wait till they're all done. Don't get up, ma'am. I'll bring it right to you. There you go. Good stuff. I'll bring yours to you too, Queenie. She's like, oh, yes, snacks. All right, we gotta decorate them before you can actually try how they taste when they're all decorated in together. I think we did it. So I used cookie icing this time. You could use the yogurt melts. You could use cream cheese. You could also not frost them at all if you don't want to. A little bit of sprinkles and I think it's time for the dogs to give them a try. Well, that looks like perfection to me. Who's going first? It's Miss Kira. Would you like to try this? Okay, ready for a brownie? Christmas tree brownie, here we go. Is it chewy like a brownie? Why you don't have to drop it? Why do you gotta drop I put the mat down so you wouldn't get it all over my rug. Oh, I guess you didn't, you did pretty good. What do you think? Is it delicious? Is that the best brownie you ever had in your life? All right, let's see what your sisters think. Who do you think is next? Look, I cut it up for her because she's such an inhaler. You ready? All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Tell me what you think of the brownie. Thank you for keeping it on the plate and the mat. Unlike your sister who just got it everywhere. <laughs> what do you think? Is that the best brownie you ever had in your life? This is a nice Christmassy brownie. I think it's a win. Are you spinning? Are you spinning? Say, and last but certainly not least, it is Miss Eleanor. Back up. I understand. Come over here. Sit. Okay, ready? Leave it. I know this one's really hard. There you go. Leave it. 
Leave it. Okay, take it. She's like, yes, a good brownie. Whoa, I almost should have cut yours up too. Oh, thank you for not dropping it on the rug. <laughs> How is it? It's like, whoa, I don't know if I ever had the brownie before. Good stuff? You, you still dropped some on the rug. Just a little bit though. Oh, you got green mess everywhere. She's like, yeah, and it is delicious. All right, everybody's licking up the crumbs, looking for more. So it must have been good. What do you girls think? Was it delicious? Uh, all right, you guys, real quick before we end the video, down in the video description below is gonna be a link to the Christmas card exchange. I know many of you guys missed that video because a lot of you have been asking me when it's going up. It's up! So be sure to go down there, find the video, and if you want to participate in the Christmas card exchange, please go watch that video because there are a little bit new instructions this year versus last year. All right, you guys, as always, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. Say goodbye, audience. Miss Kira is looking for Squirrel Friend. Yeah, he's been coming to visit a lot.